We're going to start working on the ball that's right at us. As a middle infielder, the most difficult ball to field is the one that's right at us. And the reason being is that you can't always see the hops. So what we have to try to do is put ourselves in a position to see the hop, pick the read, the hop that we want, and then be able to come through it. So as middle infielders, we always work on getting to the right side of the ball. So the way we start that is we'll just put a ball down. They'll be in a good fielding position, and you'll see both of them. They'll start off coming to the right side of the ball because as I get to that angle, I can see the hop now, and now they're going to field through it. So we will go right and then left, and then they're in that perfect fielding position. But you'll notice their left foot will step more to the side instead of in front because we want that left foot to be a little bit back or just even with their, uh, with their right foot. So now we've got a good fielding position. So they'll stay square to it into that good fielding position, trying to set that ball up a little bit to their left side so their hand stays soft. So we just let the ball and put it in a dead position. They stay back, and then they'll just work on approaching it, getting into that good position and staying right there. Let's go ahead and go. Uh, now just get down in the fielding position and be good. Good, okay, go ahead and go back. You see how they both get to the right side of the ball. Their glove is open. We always kind of talk about the palm of our uh, glove kind of having an eye in it, an eyeball right there. So let that thing see the ball. Because you'll see a lot of kids, they'll be here and they'll roll the ball, they'll roll their glove at the last second, okay? We want to try to slow the game down because the higher levels you get, it speeds up. So when we can take out those little unnecessary steps, it slows the game down and makes it a little easier. So we always kind of want, you know, my elbow sitting here at my hip, my, the eye of my palm is just showing right at the ball, and then I'm just getting right left as I'm coming through it. Go ahead. Good. Go ahead. You can see how they go right left, so to their side of it, and they're staying square to that ball. Their body still square up to it, so if it does take a bad hop, it'll wear up into their chest. Go ahead and then hold it. Okay, now from here you can see they're out in front. They have a good fielding triangle so that if a ball takes a bad hop, they have from here to their leg then to get a body or something on it. If they're fielding the ball right below their legs, right in between their legs, okay, that ball takes a bad hop, it's through them. So we want to get it out in front so it gives us time. So if it takes a funny hop that we can end up getting our body on and knocking it down. A couple more times. There you go. Good. One more. And we can start them back as far as you want. Okay. If you're at a beginning step, you might just start them right next to the ball. So they're just taking right left. So they get that footwork. Now they, we, we talk about this kind of being a waltz. When you see them approach the ball, go ahead. How they go right left. That's their rhythm. So no matter the speed of the ball, Okay, that's their rhythm of fielding the ground ball. If it's hit hard at them, boom, it's right left. If it's slow at them, they're going to go get the thing, and it's still that right left. It's that same fielding rhythm. And so it's like a waltz when we're out here. We don't want to be too quick. We want to have rhythm when we're fielding uh, and putting ourselves in a good position to field the ground ball. Go ahead, a couple more. You can see their left foot's a little bit further back. Now we'll take it one step so you can see why that foot's back. They'll field it dead, and as they come through, then they're going to set their body up to come across and throw the ball across the infield. So that right foot will come right in front of their leg. So go ahead, field it, and then come across like we're throwing. Okay, so you see now their foot is back, and now it's put themselves in a good position to field. So when we talk about fielding through a ground ball, that's what we're talking about. We get to the side of it, I'm fielding it, and then I'm coming through it as I'm getting my momentum to go, to, go towards first base. Everything's got to go towards first base. Go ahead. Good. 